welcome to the vlog. The issue with North Dakota is that the wind never stops blowing. So even though I had myself situated, my hair situated before I left the room, I brought the dogs out here to walk. I mean to use the bathroom. I had myself situated, like I said, but I, then I walked outside and the wind was like, oh really? And just started blowing my hair everywhere. So anyway, I am reading Dance with the Devil. This is the third book in a series and it is the last one that's out so far. And it's called The Library, Mercenary Librarians is the name of the series. And librarians is kind of an overstatement. Like they do have something to do with books, but that's really not what this is about. This is like an enhanced super soldier kind of situation. And I really like those kind of romances where they like to break out of the facility or break away from whoever's been controlling them and who created them. And so we've got a lot of sci-fi stuff going on and a lot of the elite people are the only ones that have money and nobody else has enough money to take care of themselves and so anyway this is just another one of those books where our two main characters have been in the first two books um they were just parts of the team i cannot even open my eyes because this sun is so bright out here it feels amazing by the way yes i have on a sweatshirt but it is in the 60s right now so it feels great it's still kind of early in the morning and so anyway I just I can't get over this weather I can't get over the fact that the sun rises at 5 45 in the morning and it doesn't go down until 9 45 at night and so when they did fireworks for the 4th of July the fireworks did not start until 10 45 so <laughs> wow anyway I what do I have planned for today nothing much I need to go register at the library on base like sign up and get a card and I need to sign up for the library in town although sometimes you have to have proof of residence so I'm not sure that I'll be able to sign up but I at least want to go and check out the library today and um, we need to go check our mail they've been holding our mail for us while we were moving and so we need to go get all of that from the post office and i think that's about it the dogs are doing really well they're they're doing a good job of going up and down the stairs and coming out here to go to the bathroom and so that's all that i need to do as far as today what's happening today however i do want to continue prepping my 50 before 50 video because i need to get all of those titles covers I need to get all the covers saved and I'm creating graphics for each one of the series is I said graphics it's really just the thing that holds all the covers so some of them are easy when they have two or three books and some of them that have 41 or 55 books are a little bit harder but the majority of those are done and so that's just going to be me finishing out that today the majority of the big ones I do still have one that I think has like 80 books on it and it still has to be done but most of them most of the big ones are done and it looks like the dogs are almost done so I'm going to continue dance with the devil and then I will come back and talk to you about it because I honestly don't know what's next I don't know what I'm going to read next when I'm done with this so I'll check back in I'll try to get some clips of the library as well both of them when we go there so I will be back to check in
we are out here again in the sunshine and the wind. I am getting closer to being done with Dance with the Devil, but I thought I would do an update out here, but I think the wind's going to be too much and I don't want it to mess up the, uh, the audio or whatever. Wow. Again, my hair. So I'll update when I finish the whole book inside. finished Dance with the Devil and it is the third book and the last one that came out in this series but it's definitely not the last one it ended where you it, it ended like the rest of them do where you kind of know that there's the next book coming because we kind of get introduced to who's going to be the next character or potentially next characters in that and so that's one series though that I'm caught up on now and also that ends all of the series that I wanted to read in the month of June, which technically the way I did the series is since my birthday was on June 11th, that's when I decided to do all the roles for the 10 series that I would work on because I need to read 10 to 11 books every month in order to finish them all by my 50th birthday. That is my working theory right now because I don't know how many books they're going to be. Like I'm caught up on this one now, but they could put out another book. Therefore, I have another book that I have to read. So right now, though, I'm caught up. And so I went ahead and rolled my 10 next books, which is going to be on another um, in another video where I'm specifically talking about the series is. But that means that I can go into one of those or I have a few days before my month is over and I could read something else. And so I did just get a book off of hold from the library today called Me Amor, something about Me Amor. I can't look it up because I'm using my phone to talk to you, so I'll just put a picture up. But that one I had on, on notification, not on hold because my library didn't have it, but I had it to inform me when it came into my library, and it did, and I immediately checked it out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't normally do back-to-back -back genres. I don't read the same genre back-to-back, -back, but that one became available. I also am about to start Misery with Andrew, and so I could start reading Mi Misery, but the pizza's here, so we'll just have to see. You know, people always say that dachshunds were bred to uh, <laughs> be able to get into tiny holes to hunt, and both of my dogs are convinced that there are some kind of animals down in these little holes that they would like to get to. I'm a little concerned because that's a big hole, but there are ground squirrels, a certain kind of ground squirrel here on base. And apparently they have infiltrated the dog area. And my dogs are convinced they smell them or something. Skeeter, you're going to get bit, babe, by whatever these things are. Anyway, <laughs> apparently this is what we're doing instead of going to the bathroom. Good morning. I have just gotten up out of bed. I didn't just wake up, but I just got out of bed. The dogs are eating their food and I'm about to take them for a walk this morning after I clearly do something with my hair. And um, it is warm enough today that I should be able to wear a t-shirt, but not when I'm just sitting out there waiting for them to go to the bathroom. So I am gonna keep my sweatshirt on until later today and then I'll change. Anyway, I finished Kiss Me, Me Amore, which I started yesterday. It was not very long and it was not very good. I mean, it's hard for me to really say what my thought processes are or what I didn't like about it, except in romance novels, there has to be a reason like there's a they call it the third act breakup and it's just that part in a romance novel near the end where they break up for a time and then get back together and this book did such a good job of setting up the 
issues that they couldn't be together for their third act breakup that I didn't really believe it when they got back together. By the way, the dogs love to sit in the little window and look outside. And if they see any of those little ground squirrels, they lose their mind barking at them. Anyway, Django's already whining because he literally just finished eating and he's like, you have to take me outside. So I'm gonna do that. But I think I might be starting misery right now. Or yesterday I got the bone shard war from the library here on base. So maybe I'll be starting that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm definitely gonna go handle these dogs really quickly and hopefully they will actually use the bathroom. Wow. Hopefully they will actually use the bathroom instead of playing around in all the holes out there. Okay, we're out here. They've, they've done everything really well. They didn't get distracted by the holes or anything like that. And I know I said I might do bone shard war, but that is on hold at the library, the audio version, and I would really like to do that either audio or immersion reading. So I'm gonna wait till that one comes up on the library. It says that there's just a few days wait on that one. So what I am gonna do is I rolled, I need to read two of the Inheritance Trilogy books and it says I've already read one of them, and so I feel like once I get going with the 100,000 Kingdoms, I'll remember what I read before. The wind, seriously. But I'm going to go ahead and start that one so that I can read both of them. Both of them are available from my library, and they're ready to go. So I'm going to start the 100,000 Kingdoms. Maybe I'll start it and be like, oh, I already read this and I don't need to reread it. Or maybe I'll feel like I don't remember a lot and I'll need to reread. So that is, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is read both of those N.K. Jemison books back to back. about to go out and try to do this summer reading program photo scavenger hunt and we have things <laughs> there's a, a little mark on the bottom it's fine but we have these things that we have to take a picture of one of our team members near these things so here we go Okay, so I am not quite halfway through The 100,000 Kingdoms, and I definitely read this before. According to Goodreads, I read it in 2021, and I remember a lot of it, but I also remember that when I read it, that was when I was first getting into like fantasy and anything that was not romance, really. And so I didn't, I didn't know some of the common things nor did I understand really what was going on with the gods and how they all tied in to everything. And so I've decided to go ahead and keep reading it because I don't remember how it ends either. I went back and looked at my notes that I took about it and my little things that I used to write after I finished reading everything. And it doesn't really give me any insight into getting ready for the next one other than it feels like I was excited to go to the next book. I just never did. So I am reading both of those this month, but I don't think I'm gonna go straight from one to the other. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time in between. I do have some of the books on hold that I wanna read next, and some of them I've already gotten from the library. So we'll see what's next. I will probably do another spinner wheel just because I like randomizing the next thing I read, but I am starting Misery today. So probably tonight I will do an update about the beginning of Misery. Andrew's already started today and he was, he, it's a reread for him, but he said, I didn't wanna put it down and I didn't wanna stop reading. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to get started with Misery. I've seen the movie years ago, like probably when it first came out. 
So it's been a long time, but it definitely stuck in my head because it was so freaky that I remember what happens. So we'll see how the book goes and how I feel about it when I'm finished. Okay, we are taking the dogs out and I had to turn away from the sun because it was shining too much in my face. But we have, I have read 18% of Misery and y'all, this book starts out creepy and just continues. Like, if I didn't know what was going to happen, I just wonder what people think the first time they read this when they don't know what's going to happen because I know what's happening and it's still scary to me. I didn't read any more of the 100,000 Kingdoms, but I will be the rest of the night because I can't go to sleep with any Wilkes in my head right before bedtime. So, I mean, it's not bedtime. It's just seven o'clock or so so we'll be out here again but i wanted to give a misery update because i was about to stop reading misery for the day i am gonna watch these dogs and pick up whatever droppings they leave and then going inside so i'll check back in later oh the one thing i've found so far that i don't like about north dakota is that they have biting flies and they hurt i don't like them Good morning. Oh wow, that's really bright. The uh, dogs are hanging out on the bed waiting for me to take them out. Let me try to do something with that. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Okay, so I just wanted to give a quick update. We have stuff to do today, but I finished chapter one of Misery, which there's only four chapters. I'm gonna need to come sit over here with Django. He does not like me. Uh, sitting somewhere else when he's ready to go outside. I'm about to take them. Anyway, so I finished the first chapter of Misery, which there's only four chapters in the book. So I'm at 25%, at least as far as chapters go. I think it's around 25% anyway of the whole book. So all I'm gonna say right now is if you have seen the movie it is just as tense as the movie. Like the amount of tension that he conveys is so good and it is so creepy and like I'm just worried. Even though I know what's happening. I mean, I've seen the movie. I know what happens, but for some reason I'm still scared. It's the same way if y'all have ever seen the movie Apollo 13. Um, my husband makes fun of me because we've seen it a hundred times and I already know what happens at the end and I still get freaked out in the middle <laughs> when they're having all the problems on the rocket. Anyway, let me tell you what we're doing today. We are doing two escape rooms at our library here on base. They are having a Minot a con today in Minot and so they're having cosplay stuff and the 501st, what are they called? The 501st Legion, Vader's Fist. Okay, the 501st Legion, I'm told it's called. <laughs> They're gonna be there. And so anyway, there will be video, I'm sure, and pictures coming from all of that. But I'm not gonna be reading anything for a while today. I am still working on the 100,000 Kingdoms. I just didn't read any last night because I wanted to catch up to where Andrew was in Misery. So I think I might focus on Misery at least today and try to get as far as possible, at least 50% of the way through that. And then I might go back to the 100,000 Kingdoms. I do well with reading two books that are completely separate. And because one of them is fantasy and one of them is absolute horror, then it's okay reading them both at the same time. If it was two fantasy books, I wouldn't be able to do it. But anyway, that's what I am doing today and that's what I'm reading. But first, we're gonna go take the dogs out before we go. Well, we are finished with this long day of the Minoticon. It was so much fun. We did so many things. It was it was just great. And even though this was only coordinated by just a few people, but they 
did such a good job of having things spread out in so many different locations that you could work on. Oh, and they gave you like a giant check sheet when you first got there that had, I don't know, like 25 things on it. It was all the events that were happening all day, but it was almost set up like a bingo board kind of situation. And every time you went to a different location, they had a stamp to put on your little sheet. And so they had a craft room. They had six different things you could do. They had a movie room where they were showing old Scooby-Doo, like original classic Scooby-Doo shows. And they had, oh, they had trivia. They had trivia games from like 11 o'clock in the morning every hour until 4 p.m. And it was set up like Jeopardy. You went in and you picked a category and whatever. Anyway, they had prizes for first, second, and third place on all the quizzes. And what else? Oh, they had cross stitch. So it was called Geek Cross Stitch. And I picked this for my pattern, which is Baby Yoda or Grogu, if we're gonna be specific. And then they had everything that you needed there, but you couldn't take the, the needles or extra thread with you. You could take the thread that you had that you were working on, but you couldn't take extra. So anyway, here is what I did. This is, Django is being loud. This is the ears and then this is his hand right here. That's what you can see right there. So this is what it looks like on here and I'm going to uh, finish it. We ran to Hobby Lobby tonight after we were done and I just picked up uh, the other colors that I needed, just a couple other colors to finish it out. And I also got red, white, and blue so I could do Captain America's shield. Django is very upset that I will not pick him up right now. I'm gonna hold him in just a second. Okay, also the washing machine is going, so hopefully that's not so loud um, that you can't hear what I'm saying. But let me tell you about reading. So I did not read one sentence of one book until like seven o'clock tonight when we were all done and got back here to our room. But I have been reading Misery and I am almost exactly halfway and I just keep waiting. Like I know the part that I'm waiting for and you guys probably know the part that I'm waiting for. It's like the classic scene from the movie that is terrifying. So I'm waiting for it to happen. And I'm so scared about it. <laughs> I think this baby needs to go outside. Also, my eyes are so red. I'm so tired. <laughs> we have been going and going all day today. Speaking of babies, there is a Skeeter laying in the chair back there. I should be able to finish Misery um, tomorrow or the next day. And I've still not read any of the 100,000 Kingdoms today. So, but I think I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube. I'm trying to prioritize watching YouTube videos right now because that is fun for me. And I sometimes neglect that and force myself to read, especially if there are readathons that are around. So I'm trying to just make myself not do that and just take it slow. Right now I do also have a headache. So I think I'll just take Django out or take the dogs out and then come back and just lay down and rest. I just took some medicine for my head. And so I'm gonna stop staring at my device for a while. So that's it. I will check in with you later. Say bye. Can you say bye? Hey, it is another day and it's actually 9, 9.30 at night almost. Um, and I have not updated all day. We, it's because I haven't read all day. That's why I haven't updated. But I um, updated last night. And then all I've been doing is watching YouTube videos when I'm not, when I haven't been working. So I went to, we went to the chapel this morning on base and met some of the people that are going to be working with my husband. And then they wanted to go to lunch. There's nothing there. He's barking at nothing. Django. Django. Django, what do you see? He thinks he sees something, but... Oh, there is a person over there across the, the parking lot from us. Okay, all the barking seems to be over for now. Anyway, we went to lunch with them at a Mexican place that we have not 
been to because we've been here for four days. So they introduced us to one and it was really good. So now we've at least found one Mexican restaurant that we like. Um, the other thing, we stayed there until 2.30 in the afternoon because we were just chatting. There's Skeeter I'm just wandering around now. So there have been no updates because there was no reading. And I came back and I did some work because I had videos due for one of my clients tomorrow. They're due in the morning for her. So I just like to finish them up on the weekend. So I did that. Anyway, then my son wanted to watch the next Marvel movie in our Marvel order that we're watching them. So somebody's coming out with their dog. We should probably go. Okay. Well, clearly I was in the middle of a thought. All I was going to tell you was that we watched the next Thor movie. No, the next Marvel movie that we were on, which was Thor Ragnarok. And that's it. Then we took the dogs out. So I am back in here. I have my pajamas on now. And I am about to start reading Misery again. So I will check in. Maybe I'll do the 100,000 Kingdoms tonight. There's Django and Skeeter. So maybe I'll do the 100,000 Kingdoms tonight and then I will do Misery tomorrow because it's already a little bit late for me to do uh, Misery tonight. So anyway, that's it. That's my day today. And tomorrow I don't have as many work things to do. So I should be able to get a lot of reading in. So we'll see. Oh, also tomorrow is my 24th wedding anniversary. So we'll be going to dinner. Yes. I just woke up. I'm still wearing my pajamas, but I finished reading The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms last night before I went to bed, and I wanted to talk about it this morning. So, first of all, I understood so much more about this book the second time that I read it. And normally I don't reread, like I hate to reread, but I think there are like a handful of books that I read when I first started reading fantasy. And maybe if I go back and read those, I will have a better idea of them. I don't know what Django wants. He just ate. What's wrong, man? <laughs> he wants us to be in our normal house where he can sit with me in my chair, but since we're not, there's not room for him to sit with me in this chair. Maybe he already wants to go outside. I don't know. I'll take him for a walk after this, after I get clothes on. Okay, I gave him a seat next to me. We'll see if that works for a minute. Anyway, he, he, like I'm talking about Django. I think that reading the, reading the book a second time really helped me like solidify what was happening and understand better what was going on in the book. And so, um, maybe I need to do that for a lot of the books that I read early in my fantasy career. I don't know. Because I don't like to reread. I don't really want to go back and do it unless it's part of a series. So, anyway, I finished that book last night. It was really good. And it does kind of leave you not exactly on a cliffhanger, but definitely ready for what's coming in the next book. So, what I'm doing now is finishing up Misery. And like I told you last night, it is my anniversary today. So I'm going to be able to get quite a bit of reading done during the day. My husband's at work and I'll be doing some work and reading Misery. And then I'm sure that I will finish Misery tomorrow and close out this vlog. It's taken a lot longer for me to record these three books, but that's because I took some time to do something other than reading, which is totally fine. So I'll be back to talk about Misery and then maybe what I'm planning to read next. Well, I just finished chapter two of Misery while I was driving up here to the post office. They're still holding our mail for us every day. And so I came up here. There are a lot of people in this parking lot and now I'm embarrassed. Anyway, um, oh my gosh. If anybody is looking for the moment from the movie that you remember when you're reading this book, if you saw the movie first, number one, it is not quite the same. It's not the same. However, number two, it happens right at the end of chapter two, just FYI. And it was horrible and my stomach hurts. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was coming and I've been like slowly reading this morning because I didn't want to get to it. I knew it was coming. 
Anyway, now we're definitely past the climax and on our falling action of this book. And I can't wait to see what happens, like, and how similar and different it is. Because I have a vague memory of what happens in the book past this part. I mean, in the movie. And so, I'm excited to see what happens in the book past this part. But I told Andrew that I wouldn't finish it today. But I may have to go ahead and finish it today. But... We'll see, because I still need to get some more work done, and there's a walking path that my son and I found, and since it is almost 70 degrees and beautiful outside, I think we're going to go do that this afternoon, just walk that walking path a little bit. But first, I'm going to go check the mail and then keep listening to Misery. I'll check back in later. Sorry, but look what we found while we were walking around downtown. I'm definitely checking that out. Hi, I wanted to show you my little Yoda. I did not have enough green for around his eyes. I didn't do that before we were finished the other day, so I have to go buy green. But otherwise, there he is looking adorable. And it is the end of the day on my anniversary. So, as you saw, we went to dinner, we went to an ice cream place, and we walked around in our new downtown area and just checked things out. Um, I'm excited to go back in a few days and actually like look through things, but I finished Misery, we're gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna close out the vlog. I intended to only read three books and I was editing today what I had already done, the previous clips, and I totally forgot that I read Kiss Me, Me Amore. <laughs> so this has four books in this vlog. So I'm sorry if you guys think that it's too long or whatever. I will try to only do three books from now on. But anyway, we are also moving into our house in two days. So that will be coming up in the next vlog. And we're supposed to get to see the Northern Lights in a couple of days, which will also be in the next vlog. So anyway, let's talk about Misery. I, I finally made it to the end and it was so stressful and so intense that I just needed something happy and uplifting after it was over. So it was really nice to just do nothing and make my little cross stitch thing and go out to eat with my husband and just relax and rest, but I loved it. I I don't wanna give anything away. We were gonna watch the movie tonight, but we've decided to put that off for a couple more days. And so we're gonna actually rent the DVD or borrow the DVD from our library. Like we live in the olden days or something because you can't rent it online. You either watch it on Showtime or you buy it. So that's weird. Anyway. There's my little PSA about the Misery movie. Anyway, we, I loved it. And I don't want to give anything away other than to say I generally don't like the Stephen King books that don't involve a large cast of characters. Usually if it's just centered around one or two people, maybe three, I don't love it as much. But when there's like seven or eight, that seems to be the ones I love the most. But this had two characters in it and it was so so good. I, it was just properly creepy and like I said, stressful and intense and just fantastic in the worst kind of way. <laughs> anyway, that is going to do it for this vlog. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the last few days. I feel like I update from our room and then I update from the pen where the dogs go to the bathroom and that has been my life for the last week. 
Hopefully, things are going to be changing this week. I do have travel coming up. Actually, on Sunday, we're flying somewhere. So, we have just a few more days before I have to pack a suitcase and fly to Louisiana for a week. So, we are um, <laughs> just moving right along. Moving into our house on Wednesday and flying out of here on Sunday. Wow. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.